Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn how to create a sliding reference line using parameter action in Tableau. For this, we'll be using Sample Superstore Dataset, which is available on Tableau as well. So let's get started. So for creating a reference line, first of all, as you can see here, we have a area chart. And when I hover over to any of this section of the area chart, the reference line move along with that and shows us which date is selected and the total number of sales in this case. So how we can create this sliding reference line? So let's start with a blank dashboard um, where we first of all go to data tab and connect a new data source. In this case, we'll be connecting to sample superstore data set. So once we connect to the sample superstore data set, we will bring sales measure into row shelf and let's say order date into column shelf and for that we need to create a area chart by month for sales figures we can also keep it in terms of uh, creating the sales number trend we can keep it as a line chart as well so whichever um, user is comfortable with they can use that one so in this case, we'll be using an area chart. So now, as you can see, we have an area chart for sales number from January 2016 onward to November 2019. So for that, we will now be creating a um, parameter, which we will call it um, month, month parameter and we will select data type as date and we will just keep current value as let's say because we have data till November 2019 so we will keep something let's say October 2019 as current value and we will display the format as automatic and we will show all the values click OK on that and then we have to create a calculated field which we'll be creating it for sliding reference line. So we will just create sliding reference line date field. And here we will say if um, we want to match the date or the date with the date in the parameter and will return the sales value. So we will say order date equal to month parameter. If this equal to this, then we show sales value. Else we show null value and end so what this calculation will do basically it will compare the order date with the month parameter which will be putting a set action uh, parameter action on and it will only return the sales value so in this case we are showing the map chart by month right so we will have to convert the date into month to show month values but if we want to do it show the trend by days you can leave it as it is and it will compare the values by days so for this case we will be converting it to month so we will say create trunk and i want to show it by month of the order date and then we'll say if this equal to the trunk month of month parameter then sales okay <clears throat> so we will keep it as it is <coughs> and then we go to analytics tab and create a reference line in the table and we will select a value from a parameter and label we will say just a value and tooltip we don't want any and we can change the line format into dotted line and click OK. You can see by default it's sitting at 
1st of October 2019, which we have selected. We don't want an average line, so we will just right click and remove it. But if you see here, when we hover over to the area chart, it's not moving. So how we can set that? So we will go to worksheet and create a set action for that. So we will go to change parameter and target parameter will be month parameter and field will be month date. And on hover, we can select that. And we will say uh, sliding reference line and click OK. Once you do that, if I hover over C, the reference line keep on changing. So you can edit it and choose the dark color if you want or keep a thick value. So here you can see it's a darker shade. And now if you see at the bottom, you can see the date which is selected, but we are not able to see how much sales are there for that particular month in the reference line. So we can add that as well. So the calculated field which we created, it's basically that. So we drag it onto the label mark. And if you see when we hover over, it keeps on changing. But if you see the label is moving according to the value of the chart, but we want to keep it constant. Let's say we want it at the top of the bar. So let's say want to show it at this value, 120,000 sales value. So what we will do, we will create a number and we will just say it as an average and we will create a dual axis chart. And then I will synchronize the axis and you will see at the top here. And then in that case, I will remove both of these from here Oh, sorry, I will keep it here. So you can see now the numbers are coming at the top, but you will see the background color has changed. So in this case, I don't want any color. And I will remove the label from here. So this label is gone. So now whenever you move, you will see the label is at the top of the bar and it's consistent all over the place. So that's how we create a sliding reference line. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, we'll catch you next time. Yeah.